Now, as we are doing this, these drug classes also being combined with other treatments and being moved into earlier lines of therapy, there are several clinical trials looking at these bispecific antibodies in newly diagnosed patients, either substituting these drugs for rituximab in the RCHOP regimen or uh, RCHIP polar regimen, or they're adding these medications to the rituximab in RCHOP or RCHIP polar. Um, there are several randomized phase three trials, meaning trials comparing the standard of care to these experimental arms that are ongoing. And in the next several years, if these read out positive, these will fundamentally change how we treat patients in the frontline setting. Now, when I started this, I talked about sequencing. So the important thing that will come if we are using these bispecific antibodies before CAR-T, uh, because as of right now, all the data we have with these drugs are bispecifics after CAR-T for the most part. We have very little data about bispecifics prior to CAR-T based on when these drugs were approved. But if these drugs do move into the frontline setting, then we will have to readjust our sort of treatment paradigm. And we will have to acquire information about how bispecifics may impact uh, CAR-T cell therapy responses uh, in these patient populations, or if there is any sort of uh, impact on T cell function with exposure to these bispecifics prior to CAR T in patients who do not respond. Additionally, there are other trials in countries who do not have access to CAR T looking at bispecifics in a second line setting. Uh, these are typically given in combination with other agents, such as chemo, other chemotherapy regimens. Um, and sometimes these are given in a combination with other targeted drugs. So as we continue to move along here, uh, these antibodies have the potential to really transform how we treat patients with diffuse large B-cell lymphoma and other B-cell malignancies, which I did not discuss. Uh, but as that sort of happens, again, uh, we need to be very cognizant about what these treatments may or may not be doing to the disease under study and how it may impact some of the treatments we may give later down the line. I mentioned this specifically is that we do know sometimes that um, the target of these bispecific antibodies, which is CD20, we do know in some situations we can see that the loss of this receptor uh, in patients who are treated with bispecifics and sub subsequently the disease comes back. Whether this loss is a permanent function or whether this is something temporary, temporary is something that will need to be determined um, as we move along with more of these clinical trials. Um, and get more information with larger patient uh, samples uh, to sort of understand how this uh, will impact the disease, how this will impact the disease's response to later lines of therapy. Now, loss of CD20 per se does not necessarily mean that we will have uh, any impact on CAR-T cell therapy as CAR-T targets CD19, which is a different receptor. Uh, but theoretically, we could be selecting out more aggressive clones of these tumors that may not necessarily respond to these cellular therapies. Again, we have to sort of find out this information um, as time goes on. Uh, but specifically, as we mentioned, there are other treatments that do target CD20, such as rituximab. And there are other drugs that we know that are not necessarily targeting CD20, but dependent on CD20's presence to enact response. And again, if we are losing this receptor, it will necessarily have a cascade effect on some things down the line. But I think it's very important to remember that these drugs, if they are effective, which they seem to be in the relapsed refractory setting, can potentially uh, significantly improve how we uh, treat patients in the frontline setting, which may mean less patients are falling into these second line and beyond space, uh, which is, means we're curing more patients in the frontline setting, which is typically our best chance to obtain a cure in this patient population.